Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. Today's word, today's word, today's word. It's like I want to call it like a fun word, but I don't know if that even makes sense and if that even like exists. But what the Lord said to me is that counterfeits are indicators, right? The counterfeits that have come in your life, they are indicators um, and they are giving out hints concerning your spouse, whether you know them or whether they are a prodigal. The Lord said that the counterfeits are indicators. We know that counterfeits, whether it's a counterfeit person <laughs> it's so weird saying a counterfeit person but whether it's a person an appliance a bag whatever it is it is an imitation or a copy of the real thing it is a replica of what the original thing is of what a certain person needs to be or even a situation so we have counterfeit people counterfeit situation counterfeit things they are replicas they are the knockoff they are the imitation of what the origin of what the origin original <laughs> of what the original is supposed to be oh my gosh like the other day i was telling god like lord my english is failing me my portuguese is failing me like what's gonna be of me so guys just bear with your sister just bear with your sister going back to the word the enemy has picked up and he has an idea of what is meant to come and who you are supposed to meet who you are supposed to be with and he has an idea of why you were here on this earth. That's why he fights you so much. That's why he wants you to give up. That's why he wants you to take your life. That's why he wants you to think that you amount to nothing. That nothing in your life is going well. Because he knows. He has an indication. He can see what you are supposed to do. And why God has put you on this earth. And because of that. These are where the counterfeits come in this is where he brings the counterfeit to you this is where he creates situations that are similar to situations that god has spoken to you about this is why he brings people that are counterfeits that um he has brought he has called or he has presented you to so that you can think that these people are the people that god has been speaking to you about. These are the people who you are supposed to meet. And like I said in the beginning, the Lord said that these counterfeits that you have encountered are indicators and they hold hints about your spouse. They hold hints about what you are supposed to do. They hold hints about your ministry. They hold hints about your business. But focusing more on your spouse. They are holding hints about your spouse. Like a counterfeit bag, a counterfeit appliance, whatever counterfeit thing that we encounter. When we look at it, we see that it has all the functions. Like when we look at a counterfeit bag, a replica bag, a knockoff bag. When we compare it to the real one. It has all the pockets. It has all the straps that the original one has. It has the same function. But it's not the real one. It looks like the real one. But it's not. It lacks in quality. It doesn't have the original brand. It could say that it is a Gucci bag. It is a Celine bag. It can have that brand, but that brand doesn't come straight from the maker. It doesn't come from the original maker. It doesn't come from the original place. And God is saying, use this so that you can pick up, so that you can see, so that you can have confirmation 
on what I have said about your spouse and what I've been trying to show you concerning your spouse. Maybe you were in a situation where you were like, Lord, I need to know more about my spouse. Lord, you are not speaking concerning my spouse. Or you have a prodigal that right now, when you look at them, they are just not lining up with the word of God. And you are like, Lord, do you even have a purpose for us? Do you even have a purpose for him in my life or for her in my life? What do you want to do with us? Is there even a return? Will he ever change? Will she ever change? God says, look at what these counterfeits, look at who these counterfeits are, who the devil has brought to you. Because he wants to highlight the indicators concerning your spouse, the hints about your spouse and these counterfeits. There are things concerning these counterfeits that are highlighting and confirming who your spouse is, who your spouse will will be, even if they are not that right now. Through that counterfeit, there is confirmation of who they will be. And some examples are how have you met your counterfeit, you know? Have is there a pattern on on in a way? Is there a pla- <laughs> is there a pattern that present themselves, that show themselves in ways that you have met your counterfeit? Are you always meeting these counterfeits in a certain way? That's an indication of how you could possibly meet your spouse. Is there a certain type of person that keeps coming to you? Is there a pattern of guys from a certain country or just like foreigners? Maybe you are in, example, example, you are in Russia. And instead of Russian guys always approaching you, foreign guys approach you. That could be an indicator that your spouse could be a foreigner. And if you look back, you will see that that's what God has been speaking to you about. Maybe God has been speaking to you about you living in another nation, in another country, or God has been saying to you, or there's a scripture that sticks out to you where God says he will make you, he will make foreigners prosper in another land. There has just been things that call your attention and you weren't picking up on. And when you look at these counterfeits, those same things were even the stuff that made you think that it was them. If it wasn't for the nudge of the Holy Spirit or Holy Spirit taking you away, you would have thought that that person was your spouse. Is there a pattern in the position that, um, how do I explain this? So let's say um, only worship leaders approach you or only pastors approach you. That could very well be an indicator that your spouse could be a worship leader, your spouse is into music, your spouse is in the whole music industry, or your spouse is a pastor, your spouse speaks the word, is a speaker. These are the indications that God wants to point out to you and that God wants to show you. The word uh not the word the bible in genesis 50:20 it says what the enemy intended against me for evil god meant it for my good in order to bring about the present outcome when the lord reminded me of that scripture he later said to me what the enemy intended for evil What the enemy intended with this counterfeit, I am using it for your good. I am using it 
so that you can have more indicators, more hints, so that you could know more about your spouse. And I just feel the Lord keeps taking me to like prodigals, prodigals that right now haven't returned home, prodigals that right now haven't um, woken up and haven't got into the point where they are like, hey, I'm going home because right now I am eating the pig's food. I am not fine. Let me go home. And if you were a, a wife, I guess I'm calling you a wife because that's what we are trusting and that's what God has said that you are. And if you are a wife that you look at your situation, you look at your prodigal and you're like, Lord, what is happening? God is saying that, with these counterfeits that have come to you, with these people that keep, you know, calling you, keep trying to convince you that they are the ones, that they are actually hinting out, that they are actually, how do I explain this? Holy Spirit, help me. That they are actually pointing things concerning your spouse. And right now the Lord has given me an example the Lord has said to you that your husband is going to be a man of God. He is going to be a preacher or he's going to be a worship leader or he's going to be a businessman, right? And right now, that what you are seeing with your natural eyes isn't lining up with what God has said to you, isn't lining up with what your spiritual eyes, your eyes of faith have seen. And you have a person, you have a guy that keeps calling you, that keeps pulling on you, that keeps trying to convince you that they are the one. And when you look at this guy, you see, okay, he's a pastor, or no, he's a worship leader, or he's a businessman. And sometimes you feel inclined to say that, no, this guy is the one. But then you're like, no, there's no nudge of the spirit. There's no leap in my spirit concerning this guy. God is saying, look at what the enemy is presenting to you. Look at this counterfeit that the enemy is presenting to you. That the enemy wants you to believe that he is the one because what you are seeing in the counterfeit actually lines up with my word, actually lines up with what your spiritual eyes are seeing. Look at the counterfeit and just know that if the enemy is trying to present you with this, there is the confirmation that you need that that's what your prodigal will be. That's what your prodigal is supposed to be doing. That is what God is working on your prodigal with and in him for him to become. So don't be quick in accepting the counterfeit because your spiritual, because your physical eyes aren't lining up and not seeing the same thing as your spiritual eyes concerning your spouse. So I just wanted, I wanted to say that I really felt that the Holy Spirit wanted me to say that, and that's for someone, that you are tired, you feel like, oh my gosh, this prodigal, like nothing is happening, I've prayed, I fasted, I'm believing, but it's just not lining up. And the enemy is presenting counterfeits to you. God is saying, look at this counterfeit and be assured and know that this is what I am doing in your prodigal. Do not go and do not conform and allow your, your physical eyes to trick you into believing that this is what I have for you. That this is the person that I have for you. Wait for the leap of my spirit. Wait on that leap. Do not try and ignore the signs of the Holy Spirit. Do not try and do things without the Holy Spirit. Especially in all things. Especially when it comes to our spouses. Choosing our spouses. Let the Holy Spirit do it with you. Let the Holy Spirit help you. And I just want to say this because I just want to really say, guys, let's not rush into anything. 
with the people that God hasn't intended for us. If the Holy Spirit hasn't said this is the one, don't accept that person because you're weary, because you're tired. I have heard so many stories, especially two stories this past week or so about two girls that actually allowed the counterfeit in their lives. And when I hear their story, almost every night I can't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like the enemy, he is so dirty. He is so foul. And the Lord really wants, he really wants to keep us. He really wants to protect us from these heartbreaks. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The enemy wants to steal your peace. He wants to steal your joy. He doesn't want you to be happy. He wants you to be miserable. And you know, like in that movie, the Tyler Perry, the Tyler Perry movie, Temptations, how that guy seemed like everything. He seemed like he was the one. He was doing so well. He had a private jet. He was taking her shopping. And she was looking at her husband like, oh, yeah, I know you have dreams. I know you have plans. But right now, you actually can't take care of me. Right now, you kind of broke. And this is what God is saying. If you step out, if you step back and look at what the counterfeit is trying to to present to you what he's trying to give you, what he's trying to show you. That is the confirmation that if you just hold on a little longer, if you keep trusting, if you keep believing, that's what I am going to do of your spouse. This, that, this is what your spouse is supposed to be doing. We know that in that movie at the end, her husband was actually a successful chemist. I think that's what some people call them a chemist a pharmacist what's the other word i only know chemist and pharmacist and he became and he did really well he did really really well not everything that shines is gold is diamond the enemy wants to trick us with the physical things that our eyes can see so that he can torment us so that he can destroy us so that he can make us miserable and that is not our portion that is not our portion in the name of Jesus going back going back going back to the word So, like God said, what the enemy meant for evil, what the enemy meant to destroy you, God was going to use it and turn it around so that these things could be indicators and hints to confirm your promise. We know that um, the best replicas are made to make us feel okay, to make us feel some type of way like good and even though we didn't pay the full price so we couldn't afford the original it's supposed to make us feel some certain like some type of way and okay with just settling for the second best or settling for the knockoff and that is because what it gives us or what it offers us it's almost everything as the original it has almost everything it feels the same it could feel the same it looks the same it has some of the qualities it has some of the functions you look at it and you say oh like you know we can move the same we can do things the same it has the same abilities it has the same function with the counterfeit person you say oh no like what god promised we can 
still kind of do it. He has this, he has that, or she can do this and she can do that. And this whole thing with counterfeits, with replicas, with knockoff, it gives you the sense of what the original has and what was prepared and destined to be executed with the original. We can get all of these scents. We can feel all of this with the knockoff, with the counterfeit, with the replica. But it will never be the same as doing it or having the original. It will never give you the same sound quality. It will never give you the same feel. It won't last as long. As long. The resistance of it is short-lived. It's not durable in the manner and in the way that it is supposed to be. That's why God is saying, do not fall for these counterfeits, but see these counterfeits as indicators, as a lesson, as me showing you what you are supposed to have with the real person. And the durability of it will be Amazing, it will blow your mind because it comes straight from me. And all of these indicators will start showing you when you might meet him, how you might meet them, how things will be when you guys are together, the type of future that I want for you guys, what this person can actually give you, what you can give this person, how you are supposed to be with this person. It is all indicators to show you how God wants to do it and how he is going to do it. You might not know it fully, how God is going to do it, but you will know hints. You will know when the time is coming, when the time is approaching. You will know where to look and where not to look. A friend of mine once said to me, that not everyone is meant to experience the unexpected of God. But there are people that are going to experience the expected. They will be inexpectant because of what God wants for them. They will know when things will happen. They will know where, how, and who. They will know how they will meet their spouse, where they are supposed to meet their spouse. It might still happen suddenly. It might still happen in a way that they didn't expect. But there will be that knowing. There will be that, um, I, I'm remembering like Dr. Alexa. She said that weekend uh, that she met her husband, she knew she was going to meet him. She did her hair. She got herself looking fly. She knew it was going, that day, that weekend she was going to meet him. She was expectant that that weekend she was going to meet her spouse. Did it still happen suddenly? Yes. Did it happen in a way that she didn't see coming? Yes. But she knew that that was the day, that was the time, and that was the moment. So this is uh, just to back up what I said that some of us will know we will be expectant. We will be expectant for when... God is going to do it. We are going to know when God is going to do it. We might not know how. Some might know how God is going to do it, but not when. Because God speaks. God speaks. He gives hints. He gives indicators. God speaks and he shows us. Some of us will have answers to all the questions. And others will have answers to some what is supposed to happen, they will have answers to how it's supposed to happen. And other people, the very second, the very last minutes before it's supposed to happen, they will know it. It will drop in their spirit. And God is saying, as the sons of Issachar, You will know and you will discern. And with some of us, it will start by us looking at the counterfeits, picking, picking it all out, bits by bits, 
if you have to start writing down what you saw in that counterfeit, how that counterfeit was, what he had, and then take it to God and say, God, remind me, bring back to my remembrance the things that you have said about your counterfeit that maybe now I'm not paying attention to. And as that happens, God will start pointing out, God will start giving you those indicators. So once again, before I leave, I'm going to say that the counterfeits hold indicators concerning your spouse. And right now I am laughing because what I just told you guys to do, I did that. And things were reconfirmed, right, concerning what God has said about my spouse. And other things, as I presented it, asked God about it, he started saying, yes, this is it. Yes, this is it. This is why the enemy used this. This is why the enemy came that way. And, you know, it's always good to hear from God. It's always good to get confirmation from God, especially concerning your spouse, especially when it's someone that you already feel like you know them, especially in the spirit. So it's just like another way of getting to know them, of getting to know how things will happen. Maybe this is just exciting for me because I'm the type of person that wants to know everything. Even before it happens, I want to know. And God doesn't fully allow me to experience it that way. He doesn't give me his way, my, my way. But, you know, there are times where he does, like, let me in on certain stuff. And with this whole counterfeits or indicators, he allowed me to know a little more about my my spouse and how things are going to unfold so um you guys i hope that this word blessed you guys and that you guys were able to connect with god and that this is confirmation or or even an instruction for someone and that as you do that, as you do what God is saying, you will actually have more insight. Um beijo pessoal. Bye bye.